Those who look like you and me All for one to save humanity Fighting off the evil virus entities It's now or never Before long the darkness will arrive Transforming all humans in virus like demons Aliens, enemies of the whole free world Destroyers of the planet The great day has arrived when we annihilate those meddling mutants. I will power up our weapons for when we head to shore. To your battle stations! What a joy it was to watch that boat sink into the ocean. If only there had been some way for me to prevent that tragedy. But alas, I cannot risk exposing my disloyalty. I never thought we'd come to Octavia. But I'm so very glad you did, Tom. We really meant to visit, but something always seemed to come up. Sam, Alice is doing really important work here. Well, I don't know about you, but I just came for the free pizza. Amazing. No matter what happens in the world, my brothers never change. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are really something. With all she's been through, you'd think they'd be more concerned. All right, See ya. Then. See ya. Later. <clears throat> Uh, Bye. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Alice seems sad. Well, I won't be having that. Hey, fancy meeting you. And where did you come from all of a sudden? Well, you know me, I'm all over. Well then, you expect me to believe that you just happened to be loitering outside the train station? Now that you mention it, yeah. I'm just lucky, I guess. You're a horrible liar. Well, if you must know, I was suspicious and followed you. Now, how about I buy you lunch? No. As usual, spending time with my stupid brothers made me sick to my stomach. Let's take a little walk. What's wrong? Didn't you want to see them? They probably shouldn't have come. No matter what I do in my life, they'll always think of me as their little sister. So I guess they don't take you seriously. Well, they'll come around eventually. But you're a boy. You never had to prove anything. <laughs> and what is so funny? Did I ever tell you that my parents thought I was a scaredy cat and spoiled little rich kid and never believed that I'd wind up doing anything important? I never knew that. Alice was acting so mysteriously, and then George disappeared. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but, huh? It's Alice, and she's with George. You want to know a secret? Mm-hmm. Well, right up until I was 10 years old, I actually slept with a teddy bear. Mm. You did? Promise not to tell anybody, okay? Huh? I can't believe it. Alice and George are a couple? All right, then. It's on. All right, that looks good. I've never seen anything like it. It's strong as steel, but bendable. It's an experimental metal. It's malleable, but unbreakable. There's little chance that any virus we capture, no matter how strong, would be able to do any damage to it. It needs more testing, but time is an issue, Neela. Another breakthrough from the scientists of Neos? Yes, but they wanted to employ it for military purposes. I thought we could use it to contain oil spills in the oceans. 
Thank you. It's being put to good use in our cage, Edward. The same ecological principles are still in play, but the viruses are almost gelatinous. Couldn't they slide through the bars? The metal is also electromagnetic. It will act as a force field as well. Boy, have I been played like a fool. Alice and George must have been going out behind my back the whole time. And here I thought I may have had a shot with her. What the heck does Alice even see in the slimy jerk face anyway? <clears throat> Yo, what's your problem? <laughs> I wish I'd never found out about their relationship. That should do it. Now to tighten a few bolts. <clears throat> oh! Blast! <clears throat> oh, here, let me. <laughs> sorry, I should have let you get that. No need to be sorry. We're working together. Yes, of course. It was just an awkward moment. I suppose it's been a long time since you've had an awkward moment with an assistant in the lab. Not since Sophia died. You may not want to say it, but I will. For far too long, I've been denying it. You mean the world to me. Edward, I stopped denying it a long time ago. You always were very perceptive. Far more than I've ever been, it seems. So tell me, my darling, what are we ever going to do about this? Mm. Mm, my angel. Mila. What's going on? <gasps> Hello, Dad. David, let's go somewhere to talk. So, would you mind telling me what you're doing with Mila? See, you can't really understand all the heartache I've been going through. Oh, stop it. Spare me the excuses. I'm not a child. But we've become close and something has developed. I'll save it. How could you do this to my mother? You and I will have a discussion about this in private when you've settled down. Have I made myself clear? Don't bother. It's obvious you never cared about Mom. Hmm. I'm sorry. I never prepared David for this eventuality. Forgive him. Edward, I understand how difficult this will be for him to accept. <gasps> what was that? An explosion, not too far from here. The last time I heard something like that... ...was when the viruses first attacked Octavia. Edward, they've returned. Octavia's under siege again. There's not much time. Round up the kids. Huh, this crazy wind is unbearable. Just a little while ago, the sun was shining. And now it looks like a hurricane. Or maybe it's something much worse. A virus attack? Mm hmm What is it, Professor? Alice, return to Neos 1 immediately. We're under attack. I figured as much. Do the others know about it? Rodan and Zuri are here with me. I'm trying to track down David and George. George is right here next to me. We're on our way. He needs us. They're back. We are under attack again. The radar shows several thick viral clusters forming along the coastline. This time the attack is coming from the sea? Yes, although I have no idea why. Luckily, the viruses haven't noticed our surveillance cameras. But why would the viruses come back to Octavia? I thought the whole purpose for them coming back was to locate an oasis and steal its cryptus. Good question. Well, maybe they felt they didn't do a thorough enough job the first time round. Or maybe after we defeated them in Avalonia, they now have a new target. But they really want to search without distractions for any cryptus they can find. Right now, we have to be concerned with protecting the people of Octavia. Those viruses are determined to destroy everything and everyone in their path. Hmm? hmm? Huh? Huh? Where were you guys? Well, we're here now. We got here as quickly as we could, Professor. Hmm. Oh. Have either of you seen David? No, ma'am. 
We thought he was here at Neos 1 with you. But where do you suppose he could have gone? Mm hmm. Hmm. This is my fault. Hmm. Hmm. David's gone. We simply have to track him down. We're a team. We could have the fight of the century on our hands. You're right. We need David. I'll try to activate his wristwatch again. Till then, get ready. By now, the viruses should be everywhere. How do we get out of Neos 1 without them finding out? Huh? Uh, the kid's got a good point, Professor. Wait, what's in this room? It's communications. The center of Octavia is directly above us. But there's no door to the outside. But we have these, George. Those look like torpedo hatches. They share a similar design and basic concept. But every last one leads to a tube that will take you outside. Huh? You want us to lay down in these so we can shoot out like human torpedoes? Why not? Sure. It's quite safe. Trust me, Zuri. Mm. Sounds perfectly reasonable. Of all the hair-brained ideas. See you later, George. Huh? The hatches appear to be closing from the inside. Let's hope the viruses won't discover this emergency exit. Let's hope so, because a way out can also be a way in. Listen up. The radar picked up viruses approaching from the coast. Got it? Mm. We've got some business mm -hmm. to take mm -hmm. care of. Ha. 